Why do we have different blood types? Scientists estimate that blood types have been around for at least 20 million years, but doctors have only known about them for the last 116 years. Before 1900, countless people died after they were injected with the wrong blood. But what makes a certain blood type wrong for one person, but right for another? Part of the reason has to do with proteins called antigens on the surface of your red blood cells that define your blood type. For example, type A blood contains type A antigens, whereas type B blood contains type B antigens. But if you mix blood types A and B together, you'll start an all-out war in the body. Your blood plasma contains antibodies that police the body for anything foreign, including antigens that don't match your blood type. When you inject the wrong antigens, antibodies will attack by attaching to them, which causes the blood to clump. These clumps clog blood vessels, which disrupts circulation and can prove fatal. It only takes a few milliliters of the wrong blood to cause a serious reaction, so it's critical that you know your blood type. There are 35 blood group systems in the world, but yours likely falls under the two most common groups, the ABO group and the RH group. Together, these groups include the eight blood types that dominate over 90% of the world's population. Odds are that you're either O positive or A positive, which account for about 65% of all human blood types. However, blood type can vary from one location to the next. For example, type O blood is far more common in the Western Hemisphere, while types A and B show up more often in the Eastern Hemisphere. In India, for instance, your odds of being born B positive are four times greater than in the US. Yet, your chances of developing the rare AB negative blood type are less than 2% worldwide. Scientists are still trying to figure out why there are so many different blood types and where they came from. We know that blood types are not unique to humans. Dogs, cats, horses, and monkeys, to name a few, also have them. But animals usually contain different antigens than humans, so don't go injecting pets with your blood. There's also a growing body of research revealing that blood types play a role in our defense, or lack thereof, against certain diseases. For instance, people with blood type A are at a higher risk for some forms of pancreatic cancer and leukemia, as well as smallpox infections, heart disease, and severe malaria. Whereas people with blood type O are far less likely to develop severe malaria, but they're more prone to ulcers and ruptured Achilles tendons. So the next time you give blood, take a few minutes to contemplate just how bizarre a business it is when that blood eventually enters another human being.